If you loved my paper backpack tutorial that I did where I showed you how to make these cute little paper backpacks that could be used as gift bags, you are going to love this video. We are going to build on that same basic backpack design, but I'm going to add my own personal Disney flair to it. You can add any design you want. Let's get started. Okay, you're going to see I'm jumping right into where the pieces have already been cut and now I'm locating the score lines on everything. I like to grab all of my pieces after they're cut and fold everything on those score lines. Now, if you missed the original backpack tutorial, I will link it in the description so you can go see the full thing on how to prepare and cut this backpack, but we're just jumping right into assembly. The next thing I'd like to do is take this piece that's going to form the front faux pocket on this backpack and fold everything so that those corners are nice and neat. And then I'm going to glue them. This allows me to put the glue on everything and let it sit. So it really has time to harden because I did one of these um, when I didn't let it sit very long and the corners kept popping open. So you can see I am just holding this while that glue sets a little bit. And then I'm going to set it aside while we work on other parts of this backpack. And that just really gives the glue that time it needs to firm up. So now I'm going to take the back piece of the backpack and then let's get this centered. Here's the little piece that's like the loop that's you know, like when you have your loop that you hang your backpack up on. So I'm just going to kind of play with this until it folds nicely and add some glue right here to the top. So this is the top of the back piece of the backpack. And then I'm going to put the loop on there. And I'm not going to lie. It doesn't hold very nice because I'm trying to add dimension to it. So I did kind of hold it in place until I felt like the glue was kind of sticking and adhering. I did dab it with my finger. This helped get glue on all sides and really smooth down that loop. Um, you can do that if you want, but I do recommend kind of holding onto it. See it popped right there. So then I held it down a little bit longer until it was sticking good. So now let's grab the long skinny pieces that represent the straps of the backpack and they do have little score lines. You can just barely see them at the ends. So I'm going to fold those over because that's what's going to glue to the back piece of the backpack. As you just saw, I flipped the entire back piece over and now I'm taking the straps and kind of curling them. Um, I'm comparing this to when you would wrap presents and you kind of would curl the, the ribbon. It's the same kind of thing. So you just kind of run your fingers across there. If you have a fingernail, my fingernails are so short, um, you could kind of run your fingernail across there, but it kind of gives it a little bit more curve and depth. And now we're going to glue those in place. After the glue has dried on your straps, you're going to flip the whole thing over, put glue on this side, and then we have another piece that is the exact same size and shape as the back and I'm just going to stick that on here. So now all of the little ends from my straps and from this loop are sandwiched between these two back pieces. I did this because I felt like it made it sturdier and it also helped to make sure that you didn't have one corner of your strap kind of go popping off. So now you can see how everything is sandwiched right in there. And now I'm going to set this piece aside to dry because I want to make sure that's nice and glued together before I start to assemble the bigger backpack. For all these small pieces, I like to use my Zig two-way glue pen. It allows me to draw with the pen right on my cardstock pieces and then I can place them exactly where I want them. And as I start to place these, I bet you're going to start to see what character I am creating. One little tip I do want to show you when I get to the green piece, 
I put a score line through the center and that gives it a little crease and depth there, but it's also gonna help me when I go to place that blue piece. Now I'm gonna build the zipper piece by just layering those pieces together and then grab the little zigzaggy, the part that's supposed to be the metal part of the zipper. I'm gonna use my zig two-way glue pen. I really love the fine point pen for this one and it does such a fine little line. It's like writing with an actual pen and I can put the glue exactly where I want it, which is great when I have a little skinny piece like this and then I'm not ending up with glue all over my work surface and everywhere. So now I'm just going to stick this in place. And then the next trick I'm going to show you is there's a little tiny piece that goes on the end that's supposed to represent like the little stopper on your zipper. So first I'm going to put the glue down and then I'm going to grab my pin pen, which is typically used for weeding vinyl, but I'm going to use it to pick up this little tiny piece of cardstock and just place it right on top of that glue. Makes it so much easier. Now to make the piece that does the little zipper pull, I'm just going to take this little tab and put it through the little slot and I will glue that shut. And then I'm going to put a little dot of glue right at the beginning of the zipper and then only glue the little tab we folded to that because then the zipper pull kind of dangles free and it has movement and it looks more realistic. Now let's decorate the front pocket piece. So you can see I let everything dry. So this little, it's like half a box is going to be my front pocket piece. Then I have two strips of paper that are cut to the same width as this box. And one is green and one is black. I just added some glue to the back side of those pieces and putting those in place. Make sure you put these stripes down at the lower edge of the box because you need room for that zipper. So now I'm going to put the whole zipper assembly, which I set aside and let dry. I'm going to glue that all as one big piece onto the front of this box. And now this entire box is going to glue onto the front of the front piece so it kind of extends out and looks like the front pocket of a backpack. So I just put glue on that little edge and then lined it up to the front edges of the front of the backpack. I did have a little bit of a glue ooze underneath there. I just grabbed a tissue and wiped that away. So now that the front piece of our backpack is all assembled, I can set this aside and start building the sides of the backpack. To start with, I'm going to take the bottom base piece and I'm going to put glue on the two short sides of this base piece. I will then glue the bottoms of the side pieces for the backpack to that little spot. So then all of the edges tuck inside and I do like to kind of hold it and line things up um, and just hold it so it sticks nice and then let the glue dry and do the other side. Next I want to attach that back piece to the sides and the base that I already have put together. So again, we're going to add some glue to these little edges and I like to just tip this over on its side so it's almost like I have this little table. And then I can just run some glue across those little tiny ledges, edges, and then I can place my back piece on there. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to line up 
edges of the back piece with the sides and the bottom and just make sure everything's nice and positioned and lined up. Now just flip the whole thing over and we're going to add some glue to the edges so we can place the front piece. The nice thing is because we built that whole front piece with the pocket already on it, once we place this it, and let it dry, it's all done. So I hope you really enjoyed watching me make this backpack. Again, if you missed the original tutorial, I will link to that in the description below so that you can see how I made and designed the basic backpack. Then after you have the basic backpack, really it's just about decorating it to fit any theme or character that you like. I've seen some amazing variations on social media and I love seeing the different ideas that you come up with and as always I'm going to keep sharing the different designs and variations I come up with too. Before you go make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.